Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, I know that everyone's missing the Black Cave, so I thought I'd be bring the Black Cave to you. Um, it's definitely missing you as well. Just had a nice tidy of the place, it looks awesome, and it's ready for you all to come back, so hopefully it hurries up. Um, okay, here's Friday's session for you. Uh, the focus on Friday sorry, is going to be um, quality movement. So we're looking to create the same movement patterns as you did the week before, um, but this time we're going to be looking for a progression in weight. So our aim is to try and increase the weights that we did on the, on the last session and go from there. So that's the, the main focus of the skill work and the strength work. Uh, from there, we're going to strength and conditioning. So effectively, you're putting some running conditioning with some uh, compound strength work, be it bench press, um, squats, and some form of single leg work. So, uh, our cleans are five by one muscle clean. So effectively, you're gonna be driving up, muscle clean. That would just be one rep. Our aim is to increase over five steps. And again, let's see if we can increase the weight from last week and get some more. Um, from there, we are going high hang squat clean. So effectively, the high hang, I only want just a slight hinge from the hips, and from there, that's where we're producing our power and dropping under the bar. Um, five by two, and the idea would be this, is once you've recovered, recover, back down, hit, and back in. Uh, from there, we've got five by five power clean. Last week was hang power clean, so this is gonna be a progression, and our aim is with this, to touch and go all the way through it. So we're looking at that cycling. A lot of bar cycling at the moment because we don't have as much weight as we usually have. Um, then we've got a 16 minute every two minutes on the minute. So every two minutes we hit five touch and go squat cleans. The idea behind this is from the ground, really use that power, get under, recover, do your breathing at the top before we come back down to the bottom and then go from there. Um, we're going to try and hit the same weight as we did last week. This week we can progress uh, by doing more reps instead of less reps like we did last week. Uh, so that's part number one. Uh, part number two is your handstand work. Um, handstands tutorial will be on Facebook or on YouTube or on Sugarwad. There's plenty of places to see them. There is absolutely no, no excuse to not be able to see them. Um, and if you are doing them, all the movements me and Kerry are showing you via, via a video. This is absolutely fantastic. I've seen already that my, my jerks and my split jerks have got stronger because my shoulders are more stable already and my core, my midline is already a lot more stable just from this handstand work that we're doing. Um, then from there we've got strength and conditioning. The strength and conditioning aspect is a 200 meter run. The idea for that is go hard, go flat out. Once you come back in, five bench press. If you haven't got a bench, floor press. Uh, from there, use the same bar as you did for this, and you go in front squat. We're going six of them. And then from there, we are going six split squat or Bulgarian split squat where our foot is on a bench, and we are driving all the way down. Um, it can be weighted if you want. It doesn't have to be, it's up to you. Um, and you'll go six on each leg. We then go 400 meter run, five, six, six. 600 meter run, five, six, six. 800 meter run, 566, and then a 1000 meter run, 566. So obviously the, the run is increasing, 